of course, uh, like Islamic finance community knows who 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 your son is, but uh, please, uh, could you tell us some, uh, a few words for for non-professionals about your son? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has has uh, has uh, a few on me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me such a son. Alhamdulillah he is educated uh, from Porta Alum first and then he has uh, had Alhamdulillah competence in Fiqh and uh, Islamic studies and then he uh, mastered uh, he did his PhD in Islamic finance. And now he is uh, one of the most known figures in the field of Islamic finance throughout uh, in UK, in USA, in, in Australia, in Sri Lanka. Many uh, he sits on the board, actually a board of many of many Islamic finance institutions, and he has uh, the first adopted uh, my my own assessment. So I'm not exaggerating uh, the purpose because of his being my son. But uh, Alhamdulillah, I felt that I have been uh, you know, working with many banks throughout the world. I had working, I had been working with the HSBC, uh, with the City Islamic Bank, with, you know, many other banks. But I did not uh, see such a, uh, such a big uh, department of Sharia of plans as he developed in Israel, in Islam. So, uh, about 60 people, you know, under his uh, supervision, are working for Sharia compliance and uh, development of uh, new products for Islam, Islamic finance. So, Alhamdulillah, and his book is more detailed in Islamic finance than my book. Is he more conservative or less conservative compared to you? He is uh, more, uh, he's, uh, he, he reflects my opinion, in fact. So therefore, uh, his, but his book on Islamic finance is more detailed and more, uh, more touching the uh, practical issues of uh, how to uh, run an Islamic finance.